what's up you guys um we're at mcdonald's right now about to get something to eat um we did check out of that hotel and we got to be in the airbnb so we can't check in there till three it's 12 42 so i'm getting her something to eat i don't know what i'm about to get to eat later on we're going to the infamous turkey hut turkey leg hut so i'm so excited about that what are you back there putting on your lips uh-uh we gotta go in the store and you back here putting all this shit on your face you do that shit at the room. You don't do that in public. You don't wear makeup in public. Wipe that shit off your lips. When is the... Yes, wipe that shit off your damn lips. You getting it all over your clothes and we still got to go in the damn store. She getting on my fucking nerves. Anyway. So. Yeah, you guys. I just been driving around this area still. Just seeing, you know, just, just scoping out open the area so i like to just drive around looking at houses anyway that's what i used to do in maryland that's what i was doing going around looking at like those my dream homes that i desired when i used to live in maryland um so that's what i'm doing here like everything i'm doing is i'm taking the same thing same principles applying them here to the new area i don't even feel like i'm in a new state the only reason why i feel this is the slow they have some slow ass mcdonald's out here that's that's one thing for sure but the only thing difference is the weather which i wanted i wanted this weather i wanted to come where there's nice weather period fucking march down in maryland it's, it's not this warm it's 84 degrees today down here so yeah we about to go to the airbnb because i need to do her hair and i need to wash my hair as well i did y'all see i found me a cute little wig but i can't even um wear it regular because i need to get some scissors to cut the cut the lace so but i did find me a little wig to throw on so that way i ain't gotta keep wearing that busted ponytail of mine because my hair be frizzing up so fast so it's humid down here it's hot so we ain't gonna be able to rock that natural ponytail it's not giving what it's supposed to have gave at all so i do want to get back to the house get back i mean i want to get to the airbnb so that way i can um do her hair i do want to wash my hair as well we got to go to walmart again so we can just get some stuff since we're gonna be there for five nights so this is our last stop you guys i'm claiming it this is our last stop and we're gonna throughout this whole week because we're supposed to check out of there on friday so i'm hoping i ain't no hoping i know that for a fact by the end of the week we'll have a residence so this is our last stop until we find our own residence um, tomorrow is Monday, so I'm gonna get out and drive around at this other place I just went to go see. I'm gonna go check them out tomorrow as well. It's on this side, but we about to go look on the other side too. Maybe God might want me down there, but I don't really want to be down here downtown. Like, I mean, down in that part of where we stand in the Airbnb. It's like close to the Houston Zoo, and um, it's four minutes from Turkey Lake Hut. So I'm so excited about that. It's like literally super close. Yeah, we can go to the aquarium and stuff tomorrow. So yeah, you guys. I really need her back in school. So it's only been a week that she's been out of school. Really, it literally has. It seems so long. These been seem like the longest six days of my life. Like I already had said, them two weeks from what February 12th when I decided that we was actually gonna do this. February 9th is when everything happened. And then they they be saying, you know, before you make a decision, you need to wait on it for a couple of days, see if you still feel that way. A couple of days after that. I still felt like it was time. God was saying, go. It's time to go. It's time. It's time to do something different. So, yes, I'm so excited to go to Turkey Lake Cup tonight, you guys. Like, I'll be seeing that on Instagram. And that's all I want to do is travel the world and eat good food. And I just want people to know that with or without kids, you can live the life that you want to live. Who's stopping you? Besides your baby daddies. Besides your family. They be trying to stop you, but y'all niggas can't stop me. Y'all just gotta wait. Trust, just hold on. Trust the process. Y'all will get y'all kids back shortly. Just trust the process. Y'all will be able to see them. But right now, Tania gotta do what's best for her and what's best for them. Because nobody else is making sure their their futures are secure but me. I'm the only one who really care about that. They fake, their father's fake like they girl. But y'all not doing nothing to really change y'all life. I am, like, y'all about to see. 
And don't say I ain't trying to tell you motherfuckers nothing because I tried to. I wish y'all could have did this shit with me. I could, wish we could have been on this journey like some other couples. They doing it together. Their whole family is just them, the husband, the wife, and the kids is picking up and moving state to state. They sold their house and in RVs, living state to state, doing all type of things. Like People are really doing all type of things to just try out something different, just to experiment, like experience life and see all that life has to offer. And that's what I want to do. See, all life has to offer me. And I'm going to. I said I want to travel the world and eat good food. And that's what the hell I'm going to do. Why my money, my, why my business is making me money in my sleep and on my travels. So hold on, let me pull up and pay them. From. Where they are. We on this journey. Don't nobody got to understand. This between me and God. That's it. I don't need to buy your validation. It's between me and God. That's all. They don't get it. And I be like, nigga, I don't get y'all. I don't get how y'all don't take risks on y'all. How you don't bet on yourself. How you how you so used to how you so comfortable with staying stagnant. Motherfuckers don't understand why I'm so free spirited and why I take chances. I don't understand why y'all don't take chances. I don't understand that. I would never understand that. If I would have stayed stagnant, I'd still be working at fucking Macy's. I'd still be working at all them old ass jobs. I would still be doing all the same thing. Motherfuckers say they want something different, but don't never want to do nothing different. What are you willing to do different? What are you willing to sacrifice to get what you want? First and foremost, and here you go, holding up the damn traffic. I need to be going to Truist as well. See, I need her to get an address. I need her to get an address. Um, don't Burger King got mozzarella sticks? Let me get some mozzarella sticks from there. I should have just got me some damn McDonald's too. Mm -hmm. I don't really want none of this shit. I'm just going to go to Burger King. Like, People be talking about, they want to know, they so worried about my plans. They want to know my plans so bad. That shit is irritating. My mother, pocket watching, like, mind your business. Do y'all take care of me and my kids? No. You guys do the 1%, and even all the shit that y'all do together still don't even make up the 1% that provides for me and my kids. But y'all got so much opinion and advice and so much concern. If you were so concerned, why the fuck y'all don't help us out more? Why we had to move to a whole different state to find better living, better prices, better, and, and, you know, opportunity. Why we had to jump ship? Y'all ain't even help us while we was there. I don't owe Baltimore nothing. I don't owe Maryland nothing. I don't owe anybody anything but these two. They came out this coop right here. That's the only thing. Uh-oh. Something, something, too. Nobody else. And God, who created me. Like, that's it. Like, he formed us. He formed us. He made sure we successfully made it here. Because just because a mother carries a baby don't mean that the baby can successfully make it. If the babies that make it, it's the purpose. It's the purpose for them. Are you in your purpose? Are you walking in your purpose? Or you think you just here just to take up space? Which one? Do they even have mozzarella sticks here at Burger King? I'm be mad as shit if they don't have mozzarella sticks. I think they do have mozzarella sticks though. Them. Yeah, y'all. Um, I'll see y'all later. I'm about to just drive. I'm about to go to Walmart and get some stuff. Um, she keep calling them hot pockets. They're hot takis. Some of these damn chips. So, yeah, it's one o'clock. By the time we do this and go to the Walmart, it'll be time to check in the place. And I'm gonna do her hair. And I need to wash my hair, blow dry it, trim it, and braid it back up so I can throw my wig and head back on. Mm. This is about the new to be the concoction until, until I get stable and can really get my hair done and really do my hair. I don't I don't have no energy these days to do my hair. I'm trying to run an empire. I'm trying to build an empire. I don't care about how I really look these days. This is the sacrifice I'm willing to make right now. Like, cause soon. So I'm going to be pretty and paid. When I'm paid, I'm going to be able to be as pretty as I want. Hold on. 
That's just how I feel. So, all right, y'all. I'll see you guys in a minute or later. I don't know. But I'll see y'all soon. All right, you guys. We're here at Turkey Lake Hat. That's the cool. Come here, baby. So, I'm trying to cool and hold the thing. Yeah. 
like it stinks. It's good. <laughs> she like that, y'all. <laughs> My baby like it. This big baby, she don't ever want to try nothing, y'all.